Hey everybody, it's Spencer Ripley with Barwood Cabinets. I'm here with Jim Barr. We're recently in Roswell at a remodeled kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to measure accurately. This is one of the most important parts you're going to have. Take your time, give a catalog to the client, tell them to go to another room so you can concentrate on what you're doing. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, turn your phone off and get rid of it so you can concentrate on what you're doing. It's great for everybody and you'll save money in the long run making sure during the install everything is going to fit accurately. Right now we're going to talk about what tools you need. This is step one. You're going to need your pad of paper, grid paper, any kind of paper. You're going to need a pen or a pencil or a sharpie. You're also going to need tape measure. Make sure you have these with you because if you don't you're going to have to ask the homeowner. That's not professional. So let's make sure we have those tools to make sure we get exactly what we need. So our next step we're going to be taking a rough sketch of the kitchen design. You're going to start out with your walls but then you're going to also do your windows, your doors, all the openings within that room. Make sure you account for every single thing that's in that room for you. All right, so now it's time to start measuring. When you measure, you use inches and measure to the closest eighth of an inch you can. So when you start your measuring, you want to start in a corner. You can measure from left to right, or you can just go simply just clockwise. Make sure you account for all your openings, your doors, your windows. The house that Jim and I were in with the uh, remodel that we measured was a U-shaped kitchen and we went from wall A all the way to wall C, accounting for all openings, windows, and doors. I always like to start in the corner and I measure out. From the corner to our window trim, we measure 40 inches. Now I am going just to the trim because this is the only place that we can put a wall cabinet. We can't cover up our trim with it. You also have to be know what trim is going on here. This is a regular trim that's two and a quarter inches but you could have any size to trim out to just as well, however big that you want to make it. And so whatever size that's going to be is going to limit the size of the cabinet from here back to the wall. So when you're dealing with windows or doors, anything that has a trim around it, make sure you're clear what trim is going to be used and you want to measure from outside trim to outside trim and record it on your sketch. Make sure that the trim is not going to change in size because that'll change what cabinets you use. So when you're measuring your ceiling height, this is very important because you want to know what height cabinet to use for your uppers. So you want to measure in two or three different spots and record that on your sketch. There could be a fluctuation in the height of the ceiling due to the floor or the ceiling itself. Jim and I at the house we were at, we continued with the other walls that we had and the different segments we wanted to add those together and then get the full length of the wall to make sure that they're all accurate and measure up to the same length. So we're going to finish up the measuring. You want to make sure you count for all your appliances. You start in the corner of a wall and work to the center line of that appliance. That way you know you can move your cabinet either to the left or right and how much room you have to slide it. If they're using the old appliances, make sure you get those measurements of those appliances to make sure everything's going to fit in your design. If they have new appliances, you have to go on the manufactured specs and get the exact measurements of those before they get here. So now if your kitchen's going to have an island, you need to make sure you write down on your sketch those measurements from countertop to countertop all around the island to make sure you're going to have enough space and it's not too tight of an area around it. Now that the basics are finished, go ahead and start measuring your kitchen that you're working on. If you have any questions or need anything, feel free to call us and we'll help you any way we can. Once you get your sketch done, go to our website at barwoodcabinets.com, fill out our order form, and fill it out, send it in to place that order. We look forward to working with you and good luck.